Hello everyone. Well, today I've got quite an unusual vacuum cleaner for you from a brand you've probably never heard of, Zucco. Some of you may have heard of Zucco. In fact, I've heard of Zucco a few years ago. They produced this vacuum and I think one before it. And I think there was even a version that you could put um, a glass top on and make it into a sort of a coffee table. But this is a rather unusual egg-shaped bagless vacuum cleaner that I saw on eBay. I'd wanted one for a while. I've had one in the past and sold it. This one came up and I think they're fairly rare because I've never seen one and this is probably the first video you'll see on YouTube. So without any further ado, let's get this machine unboxed. So here we have it. As I said, I have no idea what happened to this company, whether they were swallowed up by another manufacturer or they just went bankrupt but they certainly didn't last in the floor care industry people working for this company may be working how do you get this oh here you go. <laughs> people working for this company may be still in the floor care business but who knows right let's have a, a look at what we've got first well the first box is the instruction manual and floor head so let's have a look at it. Now this says Zucco, the vacuum, vacuum two. And I do think this is slightly different to the one I remember having. I didn't have it for long. And I can't remember where I got it from or why I got it, but here's the instructions anyway. Lots of boasts and uh, saying it's the best thing since sliced bread. It's fantastic. Well, obviously, the general vacuum buying public didn't think it was that fantastic. Otherwise, we'd know about this brand, wouldn't we? Here's a nozzle. Oh, it's a little bit uh, marked, but it's supposed to be brand new. Very familiar, that nozzle. I've seen that nozzle. I think, I think I've seen it on Dyson's. I've, I think I've seen it on some Hoovers. So it's a generic nozzle, basically, with this Z or Z branding on it with the purple and red but it's uh, all in one it's carpet and hard floor you've got quite a stiff short brush at the back there litter pickers you've got six wheels well four little wheels and two larger wheels at the back and there seems to be some sort of a parking slot there so there may be a parking bracket on the machine so that's that going to come out no oh dear there we go it's in a bag a vacuum in a bag now that's a <laughs> that's an unusual bizarre looking wheel setup they do actually show in the instruction book using this machine on stairs minus the wheels so the wheels must lock on somehow I think this this ring here that's it that moves so that must lock that must lock the wheels to the base of the cleaner. How many wheels are they? Two, four, six, eight. Eight wheels. Can't see any sort of markings on it. And it's got um, sort of rubber grips all the way round to secure the uh, egg-shaped vacuum. Right, I'm gonna have to stand up. Oh, it's one of these, is it? Doesn't want to come out of the box. Right. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, look at that. I should have saved this for an Easter special, being the egg-shaped vacuum that it is. Now, I think that's everything, apart from the extension wand, which doesn't want to come out of the box. There we are, put that to one side. Put the egg to one side. And here we have, this will be made in China, I would have thought. This wand looks fairly generic, apart from it's got a uh, purple coloured bracket. But the wand itself looks very familiar. Not a bad length, it's not too short I suppose like some, but it's not one of the longest uh, ones I've seen, but it's telescopic anyway. So here it is, in its own special little bag, and even it's got a little tag. I don't think mine had a bag, I can't remember, it's, it's 
It must be about, I don't know, 15 years ago or maybe less, a bit less, that I got one of these. And I expect when I did get them, um, it was probably on clearance anyway. So we can reveal. You're about to see the mess that my bedroom's in. Oh dear. Yes, a highly reflective surface. Oh dearie me, I should have thought this through. <laughs> the illusion of a nice, tidy, clean house will be shattered. Don't look in the reflection of this, whatever you do, folks. I shouldn't have said that because every, everyone watching this video is now going to be focusing. It's not too bad. It is a bit messy. I've not made my bed. I'm upstairs in my bedroom. Um, right, I can't undo this. How, are, you going to, are you going to actually let me pull this off? It's a bit... bit awkward oh, how ridiculous is that doesn't really want to come out ah, come on you daft thing oh, dear. perhaps they were you know put this on to make people think oh they've got a special vacuum because it's got its own bag no it's just awkward I suppose though the bag can be used again. I was going to say it can be used again to put the tools in, but the only tools... Oh, oh dear, look at that. The only tools um, you need to store separately from the unit itself are the wand and the floor nozzle, because I believe, unless I've been shortchanged, I believe all the other tools and the hose are inside this vacuum. So I think the first thing we need to do I lean over for the instructions. I think you just have to, to plonk it on the wheels. There's a, oh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an oddball, bit of an oddball this one, isn't it? Let's just see. Shall we just see what they say? Zucco are committed to designing products of quality, performance, and style. The vacuum, or sorry, the vacuum, demonstrates our, our aim to provide our customers with desirable, high-quality products that truly fulfill their purpose, but with a point of difference that keeps them ahead of others. A new concept in appliances. Ooh. Well, it's the, I'm all for being different, but you've got to be practical as well. And that, <laughs> it's different. You have to admit, it's different. I can't see, obviously. It was complete and utter failure. Well, here's the instructions of how to put the uh, egg onto its base. I don't think it's, it doesn't have to go on any particular way. Something moved about in there. I hope it's not broken. Well, surely there's more to it than that because it must lock in. You must have to lock it in, otherwise it'll keep falling off the base when you tug on the hose. Surely. Well, anyway, I've, I'll just leave it <laughs> loosely on the base for now. So, oh, here's the front of it. Hang on a minute. It's not... Oh, I'll just do that for now. I can't... Uh, I can't really work out what's what with this. Okay, I've managed to lock it onto the base. There's something rattling inside it. What's that? I think that's the on-off switch. How bizarre. How do we take the top off? <laughs> it's ludicrous. It's a ludicrous thing. Now if I can't work out... Oh, hey, oh, here we go. That's it. Right. Oh, you move that. Okay. So it's got these little catches. Right, we can finally reveal. Whew. Not so shiny on the inside, is it? I think that's supposed to be the carry handle. Doesn't feel very strong. It's not even screwed in position. It's just, oh dear, I bet that would break off. I'm not, I'm not going to attempt to carry the, this with that flimsy thing. There'll be no way we can buy spare parts for this. Right, here's the, oops, here's the hose. Yeah, it, the hose uh, does seem quite well made. It's not one of those see-through ones. I don't really like the see-through hoses because they look horrible after a few uses. 
quite a nice comfy hand grip you got little suction relief doobry quite a large diameter I think that's looks a bit bigger than 32 millimeter here's the hose end so here's one of the tools again pretty generic but at least it's in the nice uh, matching color scheme of purple oh the tool fits inside instead of on the outside it goes in there's your dusting brush which lives on board a quite a, a short crevice tool but again in the matching purple and finally oh, pulls it up pretty generic oh I've seen that shape of nozzle before I've got that on other machines so yeah mmm what's that bit nothing so we've got the small tools inside and I don't think you have to turn the machine off to access them where did this go here that's ludicrous it's silly silly folks does that have to go like that I don't know how that was I can't remember well that is definitely the place for the dusting brush there oh that's it. that's that's it that's it sort of <laughs> oh, oh god <laughs> you know it's like one of those games don't let the brush pop <laughs> What a load of uh, <coughs> beeps! <laughs> Zuko, where are you now? <laughs> where are you? What the heck's that? Right, hang on. Well, before I discover what the heck that is, <laughs> let's have a look at uh, this sticker, see if we can glean any information from it. So here we go, it's serial number UK 00000243. Does that mean this is the 243rd Zucco to come off the production line? It's model ZV2SI slash P, 222, 40 volts, 50 hertz, 1000 watts. BEAB approved. Well, that doesn't tell us much, does it? Right, well, what's this? Ah, return plug under cover. Ah. Now this has got automatic cable rewind and I'm not sure if my first one did. Oh, well, that seems like it's going to break. I don't really want to... I'm just going to pause folks because I'm not sure if, if that's going to snap but the plug is nestled underneath that. But I'll just see what the instruction book says. I don't want to break anything because getting parts for this I think will be pretty difficult. Well, it doesn't really explain much so hopefully going to be able to pull this plug out without snapping that ah oh, we've got a bit of a different plug a round one shame they couldn't have made it purple let's pull out the cable quite rough sounding cable rewind what and i said there was something rattling about in here when i uh, took it out of the box Ooh. Oh, that's it. Oh, I think it must be a pull pull rewind because there's no button, or is there? Oh, no, there is a button. I tell a lie. Ooh. Yeah, right, well, we'll try that later. So that sort of closes, half closes. <laughs> this is awful. It is. Right, I'm going to take. Oh, so that's. I think this is um, the. Uh, handle to take the top off I think that's what that's for ah there's something something moving about oh that doesn't sound promising does it folks oh hang on it's this oh is that broken this has come off I think that's all that's happened all oh, right all right hopefully that is from somewhere. What are these bits? <laughs> What's that for? Oh, I don't know if that's snapped. Well, <laughs> dearie me. I'll have to find out what that's about. I don't know if it's going to matter. That's coming off. Oh, should that be? 
No, that probably, I don't know if that's supposed to be stuck on there. It's come off anyway. Deary me. So there is some sort of a motor in that. This company, I'll tell you now, deserve to go up the swanee. <laughs> it's absolute, this cleaner's terrible. I don't know if this is supposed to go here, but we'll just leave that to one side. Um. <sighs> there we go, oh dear. Oh, look at that. High capacity HEPA filter. Where can I buy a spare one? <laughs> Good luck finding one, I think. Awful. That, that's probably not even washable. Doesn't, that looks more paper. I think if I try and wash that, it'll just disintegrate. And under that, oh dear, we've got, oh look, another sort of filter. Extended life filter Zucco electrostatically charged media and inside just unfinished steel isn't it you can see where the um, the dirt enters it's got this sort of just points downwards I don't know how I'd, I'd put a bag on that folks to do a demo because I'm not I wouldn't if I do a demo of this at some point I'm not going to use it without some sort of a bag attached to that I'm sure I'll be able to cobble something together to try and protect these filters although I suppose this filter will get dirty first won't it and I think uh, for the time of time I'm using the machine it's unlikely that the dust hopefully would get to this but I'm still going to put a bag in of some description this is absolutely useless and this was actually somebody actually designed this folks yeah <laughs> I've seen some pretty poorly designed no oh, and I need to try and put this back I've seen some pretty poorly designed vacuum cleaners in my time and I'm sure you have if you've watched my channel but I think this has to be one of the most ill thought out vacuum cleaners Oh dearie me, now where's that uh, poppy out dust brush? Is it going to stay in there? No, <sighs> the kamikaze dust brush, it just does not want, <laughs> it doesn't want to live in there does it? Or is it going to prove me wrong now? Are you going to stay there? T oh isn't that typical? Never work with children and vacuum cleaners, they say. It's bound to pop as soon as I touch it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You, you didn't let me down. Thank you. I'll leave, I'll leave that out. There we go. Best place for it. Now, <laughs> I've, I've no idea which way I'm supposed to put this thing. I mean, here's the on-off switch at the front. So, mm, well, <laughs> let's pop this hose in down the bottom. Oh, there we go. Well, at least that fits nicely, nice and secure. Deary me. Right. Now, do I have to lock it? Do I lock it on first? Lock the lid on? Mm. Well, the lid doesn't really lock very securely, but once, once it's going, I think the suction will help hold it on. Okay, let's pop the lid on. I think it can go anyway, but I'm going to have it with the the branding in line with the hose, just like I like to line up Henry's eyes. Oh, actually, no, right. We need to open these, that's it. We need to open these um, catches first. Oh, dear me. That's it, open the catches and then pop the lid on, line up close I, th I think that's oh why what was I thinking buying this but anyway well I got it because it's I thought it's it's different it's 
you know it's not uh, you've probably never seen one before most of you so um you know i do buy a lot lot of cleaners not necessarily because i really want them myself a lot of them i do buy because i really want them but some i see and think oh well that might make an interesting video for my viewers but oh that still moves about shall we um plug this cleaner in i think we should i can't see yeah you see oh dear i don't think there is a parking uh, there's a parking doobie on the head which is obviously quite a generic head but i don't think there is a um place to put it okay right then let's just move that out of the way and find uh oh it's appalling <laughs> find somewhere to plug it in i might plug it in downstairs if the cable's long enough words fail me it's absolutely i mean it, i can hardly pull the thing despite the 10 wheels i mean it, it does, does not want to pull along it's not maneuverable it's not exactly quiet i mean it's not that bad but it's, it's a bit crikey well i'll tell you what folks before i go and shove this back in the box to be forgotten about um i'll go and get my uh, suction gauge and we'll just see at least if, if this has got a saving grace of having decent suction power well before i put the gauge on the end of the hose i'll do the very scientific method of judging suction power <laughs> awful you are awful awful i'll show you something less awful at the end of the video you may have caught a glimpse well there's there's four less awful things behind me today four four vacuums that are infinitely superior to this pile of poo poo uh, i don't know why i'm laughing i mean it costs me money but oh hang on look oh look at this folks got two eyes peeping out Ooh. so obviously when I block the end off very very basic suction relief uh, valve there because there's no valve suction relief valve I couldn't hear one kicking in but there's two holes look so when we block off the end When you're ready, when you block off the end, obviously. Oh dear, I need some tape or something. Well, I'll just have to hold my hold my thumb over it or finger over it somehow. Maybe it, maybe I'll be able to play a tune. Right, let's see where the gauge goes, folks. I'll tell you what. I will put a bit of tape on there. We've got to get a we've got to get a fully accurate representation of the sheer suction power of this Zuko. <laughs> well <laughs> looked like it was um, veering on 110 so it's got plenty of suck hasn't it but plenty of suck doesn't guarantee a good performance and uh, or a decent vacuum so many different factors go into how well a vacuum cleaner performs how good it is and uh, this one it might have a powerful suck but it sucks in other ways 
that make me think, don't buy one even if you can find one. Leave it in the shop. Leave it in the charity shop, the, the uh, thrift store. Leave it in the skip. Unless you want something that looks a bit different in the corner of your living room, then get it. But <laughs> it really, really is one of the worst cleaners I've looked at. Well, this Zucco has to be one of the worst vacuum cleaners I've looked at in recent times. But I think the top spot for the worst vacuum that I've unboxed fairly recently would be that little Pila by One Concept, little black and red ball shaped machine. Now I did like that because of the design of it. I thought it was quite a cute little vacuum. And if it, you were buying a vacuum for a child instead of a toy vacuum, I'm sure they'd been quite happy with it. But if you were buying a vacuum to use in your house, <laughs> it wouldn't have done very well. Absolutely tiny dust cup, a pathetic pleated filter that clogged up as soon as you picked up any muck. So. That was another case of design over function and I think this Zucco is in that same category. I, I put it slightly above obviously the uh, one concept. It does have a big capacity, it has a lot of suction and it's probably a lot better made but it's still quite an appalling vacuum. Anyway I'm going to just finish the video by rewinding the cable, fingers crossed it works, and then I'll show you some vacuums that aren't quite so awful as this one. So to rewind the flex we've got this purple button. Let's uh, see if it uh, will rewind with no trouble. Mm, nearly. No, come on. <laughs> Go on. Deary me, let's take the top off because we're going to have to take the top off anyway to store the uh, plug back in place. I mean, I suppose you could have the plug sticking out. <sighs> Just don't want to go in, do you? Hmm? <laughs> oh, go on. In you go. Go on. Go on. Put your plug back in there, that's it. Where it belongs, where it will never ever see another socket again. You've had your, you've had your moment of fame, well it, it might see another socket again, who knows. I can't see me doing a nice full house clean with this, trying to drag this thing along. Okay, so let's store it away anyway. I don't know if that'll go <laughs> like that somehow. Sort of. Oh, sort of. Oh, I can't be bothered lining it up. Let's just get the thing sh closed. And we'll look at something a bit more, well, something better designed than that. So there we go, folks. That's the end of the video for the Zucco, anyway. The Zucco Vacuum 2. What? What a pile of nonsense. Well, I might bring it out for an Easter special next year. Who knows? We might see if it actually does some dirt pickup, shall we? Before I finish this video, let's look at a few examples of how to design a vacuum cleaner. So we have my lovely, almost mint Electrolux 504 from the 70s, and then the newly acquired 612 from the 80s, two British made and beautifully designed vacuum cleaners. Ah, what a contrast. And moving on, we have another, maybe not so good, but still leaps ahead of the Zucco, a Hoover Starlight, shining bright, looking sleek and modern for the 1970s. And then this is my latest acquisition, which you will have seen if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It even comes with its own little storage trolley. No, it doesn't come with that. That's from Ikea. And I didn't buy that. I'm not that sad. I did not buy that to just to display this vacuum, but I thought, oh, I'll just put it on there just for a lark. Here we go. Never thought I'd be showing you one of these on my channel because they are, oh, look, I've got two. They are ridiculously 
expensive even though I did buy this myself by the way even though I absolutely love the machine so far I've only had it a few days and I've used it uh, quite I've used all the functions I've got so far for it I've used the uh, mattress cleaner with the Polster Boy I've used the SP600 hard floor head I've used the powered hose of course I've used the dusting brush I've used the uh, sort of general all-purposey nozzle I've used the wand I've used the extension uh, crevice tool I haven't used that for removing dust when you drill a hole in your wall but of course I've been using the cleaner itself it is absolutely stunning I just have to buy for it I haven't bought everything I just have to buy the carpet freshener attachment and there's also a dedicated hard floor attachment as well but I have to say it isn't worth I'm st I, I although I love this Vorwerk Vorwerk how do you pronounce it I've said it I've probably said it wrong in the video I've done the unboxing video it's a VK200 as much as I think it is a fantastic piece of equipment it is certainly not worth the money you know I'll say that I mean I'm, I don't regret <laughs> I don't regret buying it certainly don't regret buying it but I just think it's just too expensive I'm not going to say how much it was at the moment you can go on their website and have a look for yourself and then you can <laughs> you can think what an idiot spending that amount of money and yes I am but I do I do love the thing but anyway I don't know how, how long I'll love it for I've, I've already having a little teething problems with the uh, the SP600 head not staying in the uh, standby position something dodgy about that so we'll see and I'm not impressed as well by their customer service I want to buy a storage bag to put all these things in they told me they don't sell it on its own I can only buy the storage bag with the powered hose and with some other accessories which I already have the powered hose came with the vacuum and I bought nearly all the other accessories to go with the machine I just want the bag and I was told no they don't sell the bag on its own it's £150 for the bag with the hose and some other bits then eventually they said they could get the bag on its own for a hundred no the bag with the tools that was it without the powered hose for a hundred pounds I said I don't want the uh, tools I've got the tools I just want the bag which they do sell on their German website for around 49 euros so I'm thinking they'll charge me 50 pounds for the bag I'm still waiting to hear back I just want the bag how difficult is that their customer service stinks my experience of it but I won't let my poor experience of customer service it's the vacuum I'm focusing on when I make the videos when I do the unboxing when I um, do all the demonstrations that this vacuum will need I will focus on how it performs how convenient it is to use any pros and cons I won't think about the appalling service I've had so far from this company but anyway enough of that <laughs> I still like it so far it's a stunning looking vacuum but we'll have to see once the honeymoon period is over if I still think it was worth the money I paid well I'll leave the final shot of this video to the Zucco vacuum cleaner a pretty appalling piece of engineering it's the uh, vacuum cleaner equivalent of the Ford Edsel or the Homer. Some of you might get that reference. If you remember when Homer Simpson designed his own car, what a monstrosity that was. Absolutely pathetic. And this is the Homer of the vacuum world or the Hoover Z. It's funny, actually, it's got a Z on it. The Hoover Z from the USA. That was pretty bad, but I still think the Hoover Z is leaps ahead of this. So you can imagine how bad I think that is. So anyway, it was interesting for some of you possibly to look at it. <laughs> but there we go. That's the Zucco egg-shaped vacuum cleaner from a company who don't produce vacuums anymore. I hope anyway. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Thumb up, subscribe, and I'll see you all for the next one. Bye for now.